Ranking the best free safeties in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we got free safeties. Now, right before I do want to head re-rank the old cards and rank the new cards, I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now, let's take a look at the old tier list real quick. You'll see we have this S plus tier. And I'll be honest, I don't really think there is like an S plus tier anymore. Honestly, I might have overrated these guys. I think Ronnie Locke kind of lost a little bit of value just because like, you know, Elam, Jalen Ramsey dropping out, getting inside shade 4-2. So for that reason, I'm cool with them just being on this regular s tier and um really the reason julius peppers is still here is his user value and i really like ed reed still i i can't explain ed reed and tyron matthew i kind of think the same of both of these cards they're really short but i swear they just jump out the gym there's just something about ed reed that, uh, the card just plays so amazingly i think julius peppers if he's your top safety right now i don't really think that's the move i think all these people in s have their role still so i'm really okay with keeping everyone in the same tier and with that being said the first card we got right here is darnell savage he's 511 95 speed 84 play rec this is a really good card for a budget 87 man 90 zone and if we look at his traits he does have play ball and air aggressive the one downside of the card though is the fact that he does not get any discounted abilities so this is a card that again if i'm no money spent i think he's really really good budget user but no discounted abilities uh he's not going to rank too high for me but i think right around reed blankenship i think that makes a ton of sense again just really can't get the discount abilities kind of like similar to what i think about derrick henry as well really great budget option but just really not like top in after that we get john johnson six foot 90 speed at this point is really really rough 82 play rec also just really not good 85 man 89 zone let's play one of my favorite games real quick he's a 91 overall what stats are equal or above a 91 excel agility hit power and pursuit i think this is a fake 91 overall this is more like an 87 in my opinion and he does have play ball and air aggressive though which is nice and again though no discount abilities uh, i think this card is going to go f tier for me i think he is pretty awful after that we have 94 overall miles hartfield five foot 11 94 speed 93 excel with 85 play rec wish that was a little bit higher but he has 92 man 95 zone this time has play ball and air conservative that is actually kind of bad um i'm a big believer in play ball and air aggressive i think you will notice a big difference with how your zones play and for abilities though what can he get he can get run stopper for zero pick artist for one I really think the way this card is usable, in my opinion, is if you're going from 3-3 to 3-3 Cub and you you basically rush him, treat him as a blitzer, and the 0 AP run stopper comes into play. I don't really think he's great, though. I don't think he's top end. Yeah, um, I'm going to put him a tier above his uh, old card. I think there's a lot of people in this B tier that I would use over him, but just like his speed and everything, he's not like terrible, but he just doesn't get the great abilities that I'm looking for at this point in the game. After that, we get Jabril Peppers up to 96 speed, and I believe with the Combine Track card, will be 97 on any single team five foot 11 height 93 play rec though is really nice 93 man 96 zone so can play man can play zone this time has play ball on air balanced again wish it was aggressive but he does have the big hitter trait on yes as well and this time for his abilities can get pick artist deep end zone ko um i think this is really an in the box safety i don't think he's good as an over the top safety but as an in-the-box safety and really i would think about using him too especially if you have him on a theme team don't think he's great like i don't think he's like this s tier player he's a or b for me this is actually kind of tough because speed wise and everything he is like very on par with people in a i get he might have more speed and stuff than some people in this tier but i would rather use her keanu neal than this card too i, I think him right by keanu neal makes a ton of sense to me after that we got the guy jevon holland man finally gets a big time upgrade and he's six foot one 97 speed 95 excel 90 play rec it's not bad but i'm looking for a little bit higher at this point in the game 93 man 94 zone this time he does have play ball and air aggressive though so that's really really good and for his abilities can potentially get a combo of pick artist deep out zone ko deep route ko if you're running a hybrid scheme if you're running strict zone i think deep out pick artist and flat zone he's actually a great corner card like i would think about playing him at corner but for safety really you would just go like a pick artist deep out zone ko and if you really wanted to spend three ap it's not ideal but you could get mid zone for two as well i think that's the best over the top safety ability combo for a zone coverage based scheme but i think he's really really good he's in this s tier for me i think he's really really good he gets the ability combos that i'm looking for and I would probably play something like right here. I don't love this, but I'm actually gonna bring back the S plus tier that I just uh, got rid of. And here's why. Uh, I think Woolen is by far and away the best in the box out of the bunch. And just some of the cards we're gonna cover. And there's probably gonna be two cards that are gonna join uh, Woolen in this tier. And after that, we have Haloti Nada at free safety, six foot four. 
94 speed, 94 excel, 93 play rack, great man zone. I think this card is really valuable as a user. And also let's go to the compare thing right here and just show all ratings because this card should be a little bit glitchy as well. He has 72 finesse moves, but he has 92 power moves. So why is that important? Again, we talked about it earlier, going from 3-3 to 3-3 cub, really good blitzer off the edge as well. And for traits has play ball and air aggressive. So I really like the card and for abilities, just pick artists for zero is probably what I'd run on him. You could get acrobat for one. I think he is a really great user. I think he should go right by Julius Peppers because I kind of think very similarly of them. Uh, him right by Julius Peppers makes a ton of sense to me. After that, we get Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams is six foot one, 96 speed, 96 XL with 91 play rec, 96 man, 94 zone. This time does have play ball and air aggressive and for his abilities, he can go ahead and potentially get deep out zone KO for one, pick artist for zero. And uh, again, could potentially get flat zone for one. So he's a great outside corner if you want to play him there. But as just an over the top safety, again, I just go deep out in a pick artist i think this card is a little bit worse than a holland but i think they are on similar tiers i think um holland a little bit better i would probably place him right there i think that makes sense him over ed reed though kind of tough but marcus williams is really really good after that we have eddie jackson aka bojack right here six foot 96 speed 98 excel 94 play rex great with great man zone press. This time has play ball and air aggressive, really, really good. Now, what are the abilities looking like? So in this spot right here, medium route KO, don't really love this. No discounted pick artist is kind of crazy at this point in the game. This card really isn't good from an ability standpoint, and that's really what ruins him. Uh, for his X Factor, though, he can get Zone Hawk for zero, which isn't bad. Honestly, his best thing might be Zone Hawk for zero, pick artist for two. But spending two on pick arts, it just doesn't make sense to run this card. It really doesn't. For me, he's going top end of A. It just, it just doesn't make sense to run the card, to be honest. Speed, play rec, like his actual stats are like S tier caliber, but just really can't keep up from an ability standpoint. After that, we get Nasir Adderley. Adderley has 97 speed, 99 XL, 96 change direction. So this is a really, really good uh, user. Six foot height, 93 man, 98 zone. This time for his traits has play ball and air aggressive. Now four abilities, what can he get? Deep out for one, pick artist for zero, and again, get flat zone for one very similar to what i said about holland and the boys he's probably the best out of the bunch so far i would put adderley probably top end of uh, this tier right here again i would much rather use a woolen still but adderley is really really good and he's uh i think he's going for around 400k so he's really like a nice little rental card after that we get leon sandcastle free safety um this card is crazy good 98 speed 96 excel 97 play rec within the zone that can get up to 99 98 change of direction 97 man 99 zone he is just a perfect safety card and has play ball and air aggressive but what are the abilities man so he can potentially get deep out zone ko for one pick artist for zero mid zone for one i think he is an absolutely perfect safety for a zone coverage scheme now what if you run man if you're on man he can get deep route pick artist and guess what medium route ko for two ap uh no matter how you want to use him this is basically essentially a perfect card so for that reason he is for sure he's probably the best free safety in the game in my opinion he is ridiculously good i think over the top coverage player leon sandcastle by far and away better than everyone in the box as a user Tariq wool and by far and away better than everyone and the last card of the video we got minka right here minka is six foot one 97 speed 98 excel 99 agility 95 change direction with 95 play rec 90 man 98 zone i think he's way more of a zone coverage defender than he is like a uh, man coverage one in for traits has play ball in air on aggressive which is nice four abilities this time though can get mid zone for one pick artist for zero and guess what deep out zone ko for one so again i think he's a perfect over the top safety in a zone coverage based scheme you can't really get too much better than Minka and ignore the fact that I have two Minkas right here. Minka though is for sure going S, uh, S plus again. So EA did decide to do a late addition to the Ultimate Legends. Eric Berry is dropping today as well. And this card is absolutely amazing, man. 98 speed, 95 man, 98 zone, 95 play rec as well. But the thing is we got to look at his abilities, right? So potentially for a zone coverage based scheme, I don't really like any of these comboed. I do like the zero AP pick artist. You could then go ahead and potentially get mid zone in this spot and also they are adding deep out zone ko onto him so he should potentially be able to get pick artist and at least deep out zone ko or hopefully he can get the combo pick artist mid zone deep out zone ko 
He'd be a perfect over the top safety in a zone coverage based scheme. Say hypothetically though, he can't get that. Well, at the end of the day, he can still get pick artists. He can still get mid zone in the box. So he's a great in the box safety. He's a great user. And also he could potentially get deep route KO pick artist and like short route KO as well. So another great man coverage in the box safety. I think no matter how you do it, Eric Berry is one of the best in the game. And I think he is like right here for me. It's just really going to depend if he gets the uh, the mid zone deep out pick artist combo, he can be right here. Until he does, I I'd put him as the uh, second best free safety in the game. And yeah, y'all, this has been my updated free safety tier list in Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? If you did enjoy the video though, you enjoy content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in Madden 23. Also, if you wanna see me use some of these cards live, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with a follow. Now, if you don't feel like heading over to Twitch, you want another video to watch, check this one out right here. I rank the best corners in Madden 23.